Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. I am excited that you're here. What are we doing today? Well, you can see based upon the table, I got some Mihail candle bars. And we're going to pull some wire through these bars. So I'm going to show you how I do my wire. I do not have the wiring extension kit for these switches. And that's okay. I'm going to show you how I do my wire extensions. It's, I can't stand those wire extension kits, so we're going to do it without the kit. So stick stick by if you want to see how to extend your wiring harness without buying that stupid kit. If you are new to Yogi Cycle Services, I appreciate you stopping back here. I am Yogi, and this is my shop. This is my channel. It's out of my garage. We do everything here from service to tips to wrenching to product reviews to whatever. And if you like this video, I ask you to surf around my channel. Check out some of my other videos if you like what you see. Smash that thumbs up. Give a brother some love. Hit that subscribe button. Come back and watch some of my other videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by and catching another video. And I hope this helps you out. So, wiring extensions. Uh, these switches, I just put new switches on for the customer. These are actually backlit switches. Yeah! Kind of like in your car, you know, you turn on your lights and your dash lights up. Maybe your, your little radio lights up with backlight behind the switches. Well, these are supposed to do the same thing. So we have swapped out simple plug and play. You pull these two plugs here off, pull them out, put, the, put them into this to the new switch. Boom easy much easier than like what's on my fat boy where they're soldered in so this was an easy swap out but this so let me turn the camera down so you can see what i'm looking at so you can tell this is a meat hook and yes i vowed never to do meat hooks ever again but this meat hook comes in three pieces you have a crossbar here and this will go into that crossbar here and you can adjust these based upon how you want your grip by adjusting the clamp down here. Kind of a cool idea. Should work. So, based upon that, this is a meat hook handlebar. Like I said, I vowed I would never do it again. Getting it through here is, is a challenge, but coupled when you have a return down here, it's even more of a challenge. This is gonna come out and come down through. That's it, easy peasy. So I think I can get it to pull through here without any issues. So if my controls are roughly about here we'll put will say roughly there you put this wire you pretend like you're running it through that will put you with this wire finishing right down here at the bottom at the very bottom of the meat hook so i know i'm going to need about an extra foot extension on this so, got a roll of wire here. We are gonna extend this so there are four, five wires on this harness. So we're gonna cut five wires. So each a foot long, so we can extend this harness. We're just gonna use all the same color. No need of doing multiple colors, and you'll see why here in a minute. I'm gonna cut them a little bit longer than a foot. Make this a, maybe about a foot and a half. Five wires, all the exact same length. The plan is this. I would really like factory harness to be sticking out of the bottom of here, coming out. So I'm gonna wanna make this cut fairly high up here, but I wanna leave enough room that I can peel this back and put the solder in. So if I'm gonna extend it, if I make this cut right about here, I have room because it'll cover here. The solder joint will be in here by the time you put a protective cover over it. So I'd like to have one solder here. So if I put one solder there, this wire goes from here and around, that'll put my second solder because each wire is going to get soldered twice somewhere down around this area, which will be perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and make this cut right here. 
There we go. And I'm just gonna solder one water wire at a time. I'm gonna strip this back, I'm gonna strip this back, and I'm gonna solder one wire at a time and extend this harness in the middle. That way one solder will fall about here and the other solder will fall by here. And my extension will be in the hidden in the middle. That way coming out the bottom, you got a nice long factory finish. And that'll be perfect. So I'm gonna show you how I do the solder. Now the same thing is gonna happen you have your throttle by wire harness that comes through. And it does have this big monster clip on it, which I may or may not decide to take off. It seemed a little finicky when I tried it last time. Now that gets plugged into here. And that will come through and you can see really these clips will fall right in the middle. Or I may even do it lower and then pull this through backwards so it actually sticks out beyond the handlebars. That way I don't have to feed this through. I'm actually do the solder down here and extend it down here. This is in a very beautiful, you can see it's kind of like it's already taped together. It's not a, a nice, it's not a nice cover kind of like this is. So I don't care as much where this falls. I don't want to have to pull this through the meat hook. So I may cut it low do cut it low there. Heck, I might not even need to really extend this one all that much. It's already pretty darn long. All right, I've already done two wires when I realized that I had the GoPro set on camera and not on video. So, we have cut all of our extensions, stripped all the ends off, Done the same to the wiring harness, cut all the ends off, stripped all the cable off, all the cup jacket off of it. Done the same to our controls here. I've already soldered in two, two wire extensions. I was getting ready to do my third when uh, I realized the video's not recording. Lovely. So let's go through this again. <laughs> well, let's pull this apart and I'll show you again. All right, so with your extension, with your wire, you take it and you, you cross the two over. I think we've shown you this before, but we'll do it again. Cross it over, twist that one around, twist this one around, and your two wires are connected like that. From there, you can take the solder and go ahead and solder that connection, that first, this first connection. Let's go ahead and do that. What I do for the solder, I use this resin core solder. Has resin built into it, so you don't have to, because what it used to be with the old solder that I would have, did not have a resin core in the middle. I would put flux, resin, whatever you want to call it, on here, get it on there, and then I would hold the solder iron to it and solder it on there. And I take a, a damp sponge and I wipe it off after I'm done, and boom, you're soldered. But with this, you can skip the resin step because it's got a resin core built in, which is really sweet. So I'll go ahead and do what's called tinning and touch this solder to the tip of my gun, get it to start melting, and then touch it up and then bring it up to the wire and then melt my solder into the wire. And there you go. One is done. Now, after I get this first one done, what I've done is I've taken heat shrink tube. You can buy this heat shrink tube from Lowe's, about $2.50, they give you like five or six of them. And I've cut them all in half, because you don't need this whole thing just for that little solder. You only need a, a half of one to fit over that solder. So after I do this first solder, before I solder this end, this end here, onto my harness, I will slide two of these heat shrink tubes, two of the heat shrink tubes over my wire here. And then see I'm attached to the black wire here. I will find the black wire on this side. Again, same thing, cross in about the middle and then wrap this side around and then wrap this side around. And then go ahead and repeat and solder this in together. Go ahead, get my solder. solder going, tin it. Let's 
it gets going and bring it up to the wire and then melt it onto the wire. There you go. Wipe it off on the wet sponge. With that soldered together, you can see it's a nice tight solder. You can pull this wire apart, try to pull it apart, it ain't coming. So with both of those on, I will take one and I will heat shrink and I'll put it over this joint here. Use a torch lighter, heat it up. You can use a Bic lighter, torch lighter, match, whatever you want. Shrink that tube around that solder to protect it. And go ahead and slide this one over this joint here. Heat it up and shrink it. I just find this torch is just really easy compared to a regular lighter. There you go. That wire is now soldered in. It is not coming apart. The heat shrink is over it and it will protect that joint. So, so far we have three done. You can see cutting them all to the same length gives a nice solid straight harness that is now extended a little over a foot to make sure we have reach. So we got two more wires to go. So I'll go ahead and get those soldered in and then I'll show you how we close this up and, and finish, finish this harness extension. And mind you, there are many different ways to solder. This is how I self-taught and self-learned how to do it before the days of YouTube. So I'm sharing it with you. Some people may say it's right, some say it's wrong, but you know what? It works for me and I have yet to have a solder that has failed failed me. All right, black and white. All right, get it going. Okay, it's going. Touch it to the wire. Two heat shrink tubes. One, two, black and white wire, black and white wire. Cross the wires, wrap them together. You can buy this resin at any automotive store or any anywhere that you do electronics like wiring type things probably walmart probably even has it and that is how i solder and this to me is a much better much more permanent solution than those little stupid harley mini clips that we extend your wiring harness and then you have to pull that through this meat hook handlebar that for me just does not work this works <coughs> perfectly Extend your wiring harness and you won't have anywhere near the amount of headaches that you do of uh, trying to pull those mini clips through a meat hook or any really any handlebar. It takes a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, you'll be guaranteed you won't have any wiring problems. There we go. There is one extended harness. Next thing I'm going to do is let's wrap this up and protect it. I'm going to take this and just stick it here between my legs, get some electrical tape. I want to try to make this nice and neat and tight as possible. Now sometimes if there are a lot of wires, I will stagger the joints. So how I cut it all off flush. I only did that because there are five wires in this harness. If there are more wires in this harness, like some, some harnesses have 10 wires, some have 12 wires, I won't cut them all off flush. I will stagger the joints. Still cut, still cut these all the same length. That way your harness stays the same length, but I will stagger my joints. That way I don't have all these, because you have a, a knot right here, which could be tough to pull through there. There's a knot where all five of these solders are all right here. Same thing right there. All five solders are right there. That's why I strategically tried to plan this so that the first knot falls right here. The second knot will fall somewhere down in here. I don't want it to fall below and I don't want to have to pull two knots through. So I don't want one here and one here. I'm going to try to keep one up here and the other one down here as I extend this. Uh, with five wires, that knot shouldn't be too bad. With 10 to 12 wires, it can get, it can get kind of cumbersome and you, don't, you really don't want that. Those extensions, those harness extensions, are, it's like 40 bucks. 
But man, you can buy this roll of wire from $5 from Walmart or the auto parts store. The amount of time and aggravation you will have trying to pull those clips through a harness uh, will be offset by the amount of time. It literally took me 15 minutes to do what I needed to do to this harness. And that will, that time saved will pay for itself with over that 30 some dollar harness or $40 extension kit rather. There is one extended harness. Let's see how hard it's going to be to pull this through the handlebars. So let me show you how I pull wires through handlebars. Really easy. Simplest way to do it. Where's my string? You get yourself dollar store dental floss. And you go to your kid's room and you get some leftover paracord. You tie the paracord in a knot like that, like this. You tie your dental floss in the exact same knot and connect the two together. You then get a shop vac or your wife's vacuum, whichever is closer, closer by, but just make sure you don't get in trouble. Don't, don't tell her Yogi sent you to get the vacuum. I put this end up to here. Turn on your vacuum. Put your dental floss in the hole. Put your knot in the hole. And boom. Both come out the other side. So you're going to want about six inches of rope running up your harness here. I'm going to start taping it down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to wrap about three to four inches up this harness, like so. As I get up here near the top, I'm going to fold this rope down to the bottom. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it down to the bottom like that. And then keep wrapping because I don't want this rope pulling off of this harness. So by bringing it up and then wrapping around, it kind of gives a little strength. So when you're pulling on there, hopefully it doesn't rip your paracord off your harness and get your harness stuck in the middle of the handlebars. That off. And just make sure that's good and tight and wrapped around there. All right, so now you've got your harness attached. Go ahead and pull on this rope. Insert your harness in through the hole. And this very often is a two-person job. Now let's see how it goes around this meat hook. Try to push it in and coax it through a little bit. I try to push at the same time that I'm pulling. Look at that, we are now through on the other side. Like I said, push at the same time. I think we are at our first solder joint turning the corner. That's where I think we are right now. And you can grease this. It does help sometimes to grease these harnesses. much there all right so that control is on next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get this throttle by wire to go through see if we can run it through backwards slide past the hole pull it all the way up to this clip and then and we're out awesome that's the easiest meat hook i've ever pulled so if you want to see the rest of these handlebars and what they look like and how they attach, stay tuned for further videos and I'll bring that to you too. But for this video, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to get these wires through these meat hook handlebars. And this process will really work for any handlebar that you want to do. 
and I will repeat the exact same process with the control on the other handlebar for the left side. That'll be easier because we won't have to worry about the throttle by wire over there. But this side over here is complete with that harness sticking through. We just need to reconnect this wire and then pull it back in. That way this seats down inside the handlebar like that. That'll put our juncture right around the corner here and we'll be good to go. So Yogi Clan, I thank you for joining me tonight on how we pull these wires through the handlebars. This is how I do it here at Yogi Cycle Service. I hope you learned something from it and I hope it helps you if you decide to do your own handlebars. Not really that hard. Just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Highly recommend soldering. Works so much better than trying to fool with those stupid little micro clips and trying to get them through. But this was actually fairly easy. So join me back here for the next video where I show you how we mount, put these handlebars on and how we mount them and what the finished product looks like. So I think they're going to be kind of cool. They are the Spearhead 14 inch apes made by KST Customs, part of the Vanguard collection. More on that in a future video. So thank you for joining me, Yogi Clan. All right, y'all. Enjoy your night. Peace. Mm -hmm.